A huge part of maintaining security in the cloud is enforcing the age-old principle of least privilege. Users and Surface accounts should only have the minimum permissions needed to perform what they actually need to do. If you're involved with Identity and Access Management, or IAM, how can you be sure that excess permissions aren't granted? And as your workload evolves over time, how do you know if the initial set of permissions assigned are appropriate, or if you need to make some changes? That's where Active Assist Policy Intelligence and IAM Recommender can help. Users and applications access the resources in your Google Cloud projects by authenticating as users or service accounts. We refer to these accounts as principles. The level of access of each principle is determined by the permissions specified in the IAM policy. These permissions are grouped into distinct IAM roles to make it easy to assign access based on different needs. For example, the Compute Network Admin role is a built-in role that grants full control of Compute Engine networking resources. This role includes more than 400 permissions, such as all the permissions to create and manage subnetworks. The Compute Network User role, another built-in role for using but not managing Compute Engine networking resources, has less than 100 permissions. Any principal with this role can list and use existing subnetworks, but not create, modify, or delete them. Meanwhile, the Compute Network Viewer role grants over 100 permissions, including the permission for listing health checks. Each of these roles provides different levels of access to the same set of resources. As you can imagine, managing many principles and roles for a collection of resources can become pretty complex pretty quickly, and might result in too much or too little access. Does the first user actually need the Compute Network Admin role? And is the Compute Network User role enough access for the second user? Could a malicious actor take advantage of overgranted permissions to cause damage? Thankfully, the recommendations from Active Assist Policy Intelligence can help us answer questions like these. Policy Intelligence is a suite of tools under the Active Assist Intelligent Tools category. These Policy Intelligence tools are designed to help you make informed decisions about the IAM policies on your project and perform audits and compliance-related tasks. Policy Analyzer helps you understand who has access to which Google Cloud resources. Policy Simulator shows you how a change to an IAM policy might impact the principal's existing access before the change is actually made. Policy Troubleshooter examines all IAM policies that apply to a resource to show you why a principal might not have access and the best way to fix it. And finally, there's the IAM Recommender, which offers you two primary benefits. First, it identifies the principals that might have excess permissions granted to them. The Recommender spots those excess permissions and uses machine learning to predict future usage. This information is saved as Policy Insights for you to understand your policy usage at the project, folder, or organization level. The excess permissions are identified by comparing the permissions that each principal has used in the past 90 days with the total permissions that that principal has. Second, the IAM recommender assesses each role granted to a principal to determine if there's a better fit while optimizing for least privilege. These suggestions could be for a more appropriate role, multiple roles, or remove all the permissions together. Suggested roles might include built-in roles, like the ones that we've mentioned earlier, or custom roles. Custom roles can include any combination of permissions, so there's a lot of ways that you can control the roles and permissions that your principals have. Let's take a look at what the IAM Recommender looks like from the Cloud Console. For this demonstration, I have the IAM Recommender Admin role to view and manage the IAM recommendations, and the Project IAM Admin role so that I can update the Project IAM policy with those recommendations. Let's take a look at the IAM and Admin page where the IAM policies for our project, folder, and organizations are managed. This view is for our project, where we've got some recommendations available. At the top, we'll find a banner with some priority recommendations. We can click here to add a filter to our table below. The light bulb icon in the Security Insights column means that our ML models have identified a recommendation for that principle. For example, this particular service account has the editor role assigned to it, which is a role with a lot of permissions, as you can see here. The recommendation here is to replace the editor role with the storage object admin role for this principle. On the right are the individual permissions that will be removed if making the recommended change. We can accept the recommendation here by clicking Apply. That recommendation will now appear on the Recommendations History page. Here's where we can see how many recommendations have been applied and what the details are. When we select the recommendation, there's a summary of the change, including the list of the permissions that we saw before. 
if anything were to come up and we would need to undo the change, we can click Revert to restore the permissions. For another view of our IAM recommendations, we can head over to the Recommendations Hub. Since we only have the IAM Recommendation Admin role assigned, those are the only kinds of recommendations that will show up on this screen. Clicking View All shows us all of the recommendations matching this category. And selecting one of those recommendations will give us additional details. Just as before, we can review the changes the recommendation suggests, including the permission for the current role and the permissions for the recommended replacement role. If our IIM policies are managed with the Infrastructure as Code Solution Terraform, we would click Use Terraform to see the proposed change as a code snippet in Terraform configuration. Otherwise, we can just click Apply to update the project IIM policy with the role change. The IIM Recommender helps you improve your security posture on Google Cloud, focusing on the principle of least privilege with a set of machine learning powered analyses. We saw what these recommendations look like from the Google Cloud Console, but you can also access and manage them through the API and Google Cloud command line interface. You can find links in the description for more information on policy intelligence and using the IAM Recommender as part of the Active Assist portfolio. Don't forget about the Recommendation Hub where you can see all sorts of helpful recommendations. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll look at some ways that you can take these recommendations and apply them at scale. See you there.